Good morning. I'd like to talk to you today about being authentic. I'm participating again this weekend in a workshop and the workshop part of it is about discovering what's between you and just being you. And in an exercise that we did last night, we were asked to think about and make a list of ways that we have stopped ourselves or maybe still do stop ourselves from being authentic, from being the person that we want to be. And each one of us came up with a different list, and yet each one of us saw things on others' lists that we didn't think of, but had to admit, yes, I, I've been there too. I've done that. One of the things that I realize as I ponder that exercise this morning is that throughout my life, everything that I've always wanted or thought I wanted, I have ended up denying myself that. And there are reasons why and scapegoating that I have done, blaming God, blaming other people, blaming my religion, blaming the world around me. That perhaps is, is one of the biggest reasons as to how I have denied myself. I've looked for it out there somewhere and not in here, not in my own being, not in my own heart. That's one of the symptoms, if you will, of being imprisoned by the illusion of separation. You think you're separate from everything, as I have thought I was separate. And because I have experienced the disconnect, the alienation, the distancing of my own being, my own consciousness, from what I feel would fulfill me, I believe that was the reality. I've experienced it as my reality. And it happens the same in everybody else's life. I'm positive of it. There's no doubt but that this is how we have created the world that we live in. And, this, and in this ninth wave of the evolution of consciousness, I am convinced that spirit is giving us the opportunity to reflect and to make a new choice. We are being given the opportunity to become genuine, authentic human beings, filled with the grace and the love of God, and able to create, or should I say, simply receive all the things that we have deprived ourselves of by believing that we weren't good enough that we weren't ready, that we needed something else. I can remember when I was younger, that I, I wanted to have a ministry because I've always loved God. I didn't always understand how things work, but I always loved God as I knew God. Of course, I couldn't rise above my concept of God, which was limited, but in any case, my excuse was, well, when I have enough money, then I'll be able to do what I really want to do. I'll be able to fulfill my calling. I'll be able to fulfill my role in life. And so I did lots of things to try to create money, to try to bring money into my life and Sometimes I did fairly well. 
and then I would feel that I still wasn't being fulfilled and I'd do something that would change that which was bringing money into my life and I would fall flat on my face again. And then more recently, even up through the end of last year, or right till near the end of last year, my excuse was, well, when my spiritual partner is here with me, then I'll finally be able to do what I came to do. I'll finally be able to be authentic as soon as she comes into my world and I have someone in my physical world that I can shower my love upon and receive love from. And that will strengthen me 10 times. That was my excuse. And Spirit told me very close to the end of the year that this coming year was going to be the most amazing year of my entire life. And do you want to know something? I didn't just hear those words as some idle promise. Because I understood that this year was going to be the ninth wave, that energies were going to be opened up for all of humanity, including me, I simply knew. I mean, I didn't just believe it. I knew that this year was going to be different. I knew it. I, I just, in my soul, in my heart, in my mind, all with all of my being, I simply knew that this was going to be a different year. I didn't know how. I didn't know why, other than the fact that I was convinced that the ninth wave was really going to happen and it was going to happen as grace coming down from the heavens or the cosmos to all of us. I believed that. I really believed it and I just knew when that word came to me that this is this is going to be an incredible year for you. I just knew it. And so when I got the webcam on the 11th of January and started doing videos, I didn't know what was going to happen with that. But it didn't take me long to realize that the camera is much mightier, much stronger, much more effective than the keyboard or the pen before I had written things down. Now I was actually having the courage to go before a microphone and a camera without notes, without pre-planning, and just share my heart. And this response has been overwhelming. Could I have done that before? Probably. However, I didn't believe I could. I was still waiting for that perfect partner. I was still making excuses for myself and not getting on with what I felt would fulfill me and bring me joy. And Spirit has shown me that that's exactly what I, what I had done. I had blamed God for, why didn't you bring her to me? What's wrong with me? See, what's wrong with me? Why don't I deserve to be happy? Why don't I deserve to be fulfilled? Why am I still a victim, even when I've studied all this stuff and I know all these things? Why am I still depriving myself of what I want? And I've watched this year as Spirit has been unfolding my life right in front of my very eyes, day by day by day, step by step, my life has been unfolding. I got an email this morning from a lady who said, your words opened my heart last night. She's a minister and she still had nagging doubt in her mind. But my videos are, are proving to her to be healing and enlightening. Here's a person that had the answers, but still needed something more. Something more is being provided for all of us. 
we're becoming authentic human beings. And there's nothing that can stop that. This is the ninth wave. So I ask you this morning, are you willing to be authentic in your life? Are you willing to recognize that no one is preventing you from being fulfilled except you? No one. Life is not something that is happening to you. Life is something that is flowing from you. In a sense, you are actually creating your own experience because of your beliefs, because of your excuses, because of the things that you allow to deprive you or to bring you the things that you really want. God is predisposed to answering every request. <laughs> and I chuckle because I've prayed for lots of things and didn't get them. And I've blamed God. <laughs> but it wasn't God. Do you understand? I understand that it was me. It was me that was denying me. It wasn't something outside of me. It was me. It was all me and all my unwillingness to be really honest with myself. It's quite a revelation. It's life changing and it's shattering to all of my illusions. And I'm going to let them continue to shatter as I allow good as I allow God to flow in my life. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm simply relating to whatever is in front of me, to whoever is here now. I'm simply relating from the place of love, which is the place of truth. I'm being genuine and I'm being honest, and I'm living from my heart, bypassing my mind many times as I continue this journey today, and as I share my love today, right now, and in giving, I am receiving, and in receiving, my heart is filled with great joy and I'm no different than you are because we are one. Always have been, always will be. We are each little expressions, individual unitary expressions of Father, Mother, God experiencing life as we choose. I invite you to be authentic today and to share your life with someone from a place of truth where you own your own creation and you stop being a victim of life. I love you and I thank you. God bless you. Namaste.